your standard intermatic timer. You may have yours in a box like this, or it may just be in a little box. I'll show you that in a minute. And you basically it controls the pool. Turn on manually like that. Or off. These knobs set the timer to where it turns on. And in the summer, you want to run it at a minimum eight hours. Winter, you can go four to six hours, no problem. And I'll show you some more on the timer. And this is important to have on here, the shield. And this is these are live wires when the timer is on. And if you touch these wires with your hands, I'll show you one that has a, a rip. Okay, this one, the cover is broken, wasn't replaced. So these wires are live. So if you go to turn it on here, you can touch one of those. And it's 220 volts, so it's very very uh, hazardous. So you need to have that plastic shield to protect yourself. Especially if you're getting out of your pool and your feet are wet. If you were to hit that, it would definitely cause a major shock. Okay, there's a little window here that you look through, and there's gears in there. So if your timer's not moving, uh, see if that gear is moving. If it's not moving, more than likely your timer isn't working. And sometimes these are loose, and so what happens is that it won't trip, and they'll actually sometimes get together like that, and your thing won't run. Or other times, the timer may, will move itself and get right about there, and your pool will run a long time. So these have to be tight to be effective. And it's always good to tighten them up with a wrench. I find that it's a little better to do that rather than hand tight. Sometimes hand tight they get loose and that'll really mess up the timer. A lot of times you run into a problem where it won't turn off and definitely check the off timer. Um, here's the little thing that trips it right here on the back. Sometimes they get bent and um, damaged. So make sure that this thing is straight and look at it from the side and make sure it's not bent. And if it is slightly off, just by a little bit, it will not trip the timer. So definitely replace that if that's the problem. So the first thing I would recommend is replacing your on-off trippers if your timer is getting old and not turning off or on properly. That's one of the first steps and that usually solves the problem. They're usually pretty reliable. One more thing too, you can actually hand turn this thing and sometimes if it's not activating it may not be in its slot. So you got to make sure that you hear that click and it's got to be in the slot. If it's not in the slot it won't operate. And if the timer is right near the on-off tripper, you won't be able to, to um, turn it on and off if it's right next to it. And that's real close to the on tripper, so I won't, I'm not able to turn it off. So you simply just pick it up, move it, and you can turn it off that way. This is also how you set the time by pulling up on the thing and turning the face. And then make sure it clicks back in when you're done. And so you can adjust the timer if you lose power or if you need to change the time. It's very simple.